East Noble controlled most of the first quarter with plays like this as quarterback Dalton Stinson drops a beautiful pass to Ethan Nichols for the big gain. But just two plays later, Huntington North makes some noise on the defensive end, securing that fumble recovery right there just over seven minutes into the first. However, it didn't turn into much for the Vikings, going three and out. On East Noble's next possession, they march down the field as Justin Marcellus punches it in for six, converting the point after attempt. It was a close one till the end, but East Noble hangs on for a 28-21 win. Now to Central Noble, Cougars tied with Fairfield late in the first half. But the Falcons take the lead here. Corey Lance over the middle with a five-yard pitch to Quinn Kitson. That gives Fairfield a 14-6 lead. Central Noble trying to answer. Last play of the first half, Sawyer Yoder goes deep, and Preston Diffendarfer almost makes the great play, can't finish it. The half comes to an end. Late third, Fairfield extends its edge. Lance on the keeper, taken at 32 yards for another score. Fairfield goes on to win 32-6. Eastside tries to keep up its impressive start. Blazers on the road to face West Noble. Eastside with a successful first possession. Crazy catch by Wade Miller on the toss from LeBan Davis, and Eastside takes a 7-0 lead. Davis not as happy with this play. Braxton Pruitt able to rip the ball away, but West Noble can grab it and earn the turnover. Davis back on track, going nine yards to Dylan Bredemeyer for another touchdown. Davis adds two rushing touchdowns as well, and the Blazers win 34-0. Now over to Columbia City High School. Eagles in a battle against Belmont. All Columbia City in the first half. It's already 13-0, and they tack on Greg Bolt. Connecting down to T.J. Bedwell, a 22-yard score. That makes it 19-0. Then in the second half, it's Bolt finding Garrett Gelger on a another touchdown pass. That makes it 26-0. Columbia City wins 47-6.